really good to see yeah, you. That, that's, that's really timely, because Harry Potter's new movie's coming out in a week, I think, isn't it? No, I, I did a review of this, too. Okay, this is the Harry Potter Nimbus 2000, and this is a real product. This was pulled off the shelf, because they were so embarrassed about what happened. Um, now, what's interesting here, look what this says, the whole thing. It says, you know, here, jump on broom and fly me, okay? <laughs> and in, in, you push a button, and it actually makes noises and vibrates very loudly. Here. <laughs> I hope you can hear that vibration action yeah. here. Let me go back here. And what happened is, is that um, as soon as this came out in the market, the first thing that happened is they started making porn movies with women <laughs> demoing this. Okay. Now, here's, here's a young nipper actually demoing the broom right now. Okay. The pictures just look bad. The pictures just look bad. Uh, now, the vibrations they call, I love this, the vibrations are actually called real flying sensations. Okay. And uh, I guess a lot of people were sensing those magical vibrations. And they were using it for other purposes. <laughs> and um, this was actually taken off the market very fast because it was very, it was quite the embarrassment at the time. Did, did they really use it in pornos? Absolutely. If you do a keyword search on Google, if you turn off the safe search on Google, let me hold this again. Turn off safe search on Google, search Harry Potter vibrating broom. Then do an image search, and you'll see there's over 20 pornos that are puns of Harry Potter, right? It's like Harry Potter and the secret chamber. Harry Potter this chamber, the woman is using this as a sex appliance. Oh, God. They made a lot of movies based on that, which... It's another one of those famous failed toys. Okay.